All right, it is 10 a.m. Friday. I'm driving to Scottsdale, Arizona. It's gonna take about six hours. That's without stopping, but obviously I'll have to stop for gas. Stevie's coming with me. Where is she? Oh, hi Stevie. I'm going to meet another creator, Sauced Up Foods, Staley, and we're gonna be shooting a collab and I wanted to make a little trip out of it and go scope out the Arizona Eats, the vegan eats as well. So that's my weekend. So you're coming along for the fun. We'll see what we can find. Just made a little pit stop to use the restroom and get a date shake. We've arrived in the desert. So I've never actually had the Hadley's date shake. It comes out of a soft serve machine. They have a vegan one. It's delicious. I'm gonna guess it probably has added sugar, not just the dates. It's very... Well, I don't know. Anyway, I have a recipe for one of my vlogs. All right, I've been here for a bit. We're just yakking away. You'll meet uh, Staley and Eddie. We're going to this restaurant that everyone recommended. So many people said we had to come here. There they are. There's the couple. Say hello. Hey, hello. <laughs> hello. This is so natural. <laughs> <laughs> The server, Caden, really cool name. When I went up to order, he's like, oh my God, I've been watching you. I've been watching Hopper Food since like the old fridge. So exciting, I love when that happens. So he's really cool. And this is a cultured margarita because it's got kombucha in it and it's very delicious. No, my sister, <laughs> my sister's vegan. Oh, okay, okay. So, well, she used to be, and then she went vegetarian. Okay. Now, did you feed Eddie the jackfruit that we're gonna make? Yeah. No. I so actually you have... opened it. Oh, so you yeah. haven't even tried it. Oh, great. So I'm bringing all the, the jackfruit skills to the video. Yeah. I'm, I'll be 100% honest, I did not get that. That's I'm fine, that's fine. I've never even Oh, I'm so excited for you to try it. Okay, we're making jackfruit stuff tomorrow in our collab video. Ooh. Oh, what kind of sauce is that? I don't know what it is. Can I get you eating? Is it mango? What is that? It's... Ooh. Honestly, that's really Whoa. good. Whoa! I forget what it said. That is good. Ooh. One of the best crab rangoons you've ever had. Okay. They're proprietary wings. <laughs> They're more like nuggets, but good. Are we in Phoenix? We're in downtown Phoenix. We're in downtown yeah. Phoenix. It's first Friday. It's madness on the streets. Hello, kitty. Oh, you're such a little girl. You're an outdoor cat. Your name is Jonesy. We, well, earlier on the way in, I went to Urban Cookies Bakery and they had three vegan cookies that I believe are also gluten-free. One is a birthday cake. One is, I don't even know what these are to be honest. Chocolate something and chocolate something. <laughs> oh. Whoa, have you ever had these cookies? No. They're gluten free, they're really good. Maybe they're, I don't know, that's good. Pretty sweet, but I don't hate it. I don't know what the difference is with this. This is Cooper, he's so cute. Stevie, he's got a whole hotel all to himself. How cool their house is. I'm not alone for once getting grocery supplies. <laughs> I know, it's nice to have a buddy. Yeah, we get to do, we're doing two stores, Trader Joe's, and now we gotta go to Whole Foods for like three things. But it's a nice Whole Foods. I okay. might end up taking longer because I like yeah. to look at we'll things. Walk around a little bit, <laughs> You're not allowed in while we're shooting. This is so fun. I'm in an animal house. Evie, isn't it so fun? 
Look at this pro setup Staley has. Thank wow. You. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, we've done a lot of trial and error with a yeah. ton of different lights, so. That's an expensive light, isn't it? Or is it reasonable? It was, it was decently yeah. reasonable. I mean, it was an investment, but. I think I have to get one of those. This collab, probably see before you see this vlog. It's what we would make for Billie Eilish if we were her private chefs. Cause Staley does a celebrity private chef series like that. And of course Billie is vegan, which is where I come in. <laughs> and we're making jackfruit potato flautas with an avocado cilantro sauce, I guess. I need to finesse this name, let's see. Oh, jackfruit, poblano, and potato flautas with avocado sauce. Because Billy likes mashed potatoes, supposedly, and avocados. We researched. <laughs> okay, Staley's got freeze-dried Skittles, which I don't even know what that means. <laughs> this was a TikTok thing? Okay, so they're good. Oh, it they're like only popped. the blue moon Skittles that are not. Okay. So they're like popped. Yeah. I don't know if I like them. I like them chewy. That's what I said. That's what Eddie said too. They're like, it's almost making me cringe the sound in my teeth. Really? Red's my favorite. Yeah, red is the best. Interesting, those were 28 bucks? No, they're, TikTok gave me a discount. Oh, okay. <laughs> but they're so expensive, they're like 15 or something. I um, like okay, one more. You know what? Gr if you ground those up, like a little bit, so that you could sprinkle them on ice cream or something. Or in a cookie? Mm, I don't know. I, the texture's weird. I want freeze-dried sour kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you can't do a side shot and you can't do an up-down shot, this would be really good for both of us to stand on either side of the thing and dump ingredients. So this will be one of, and I think we'll just end up voicing over it. Um, you guys just let me know we'll what you cool. want to do. Yeah. So I think for this particular shot, let's just shoot here. Tortilla. We're making our own tortillas. Look what we made. That's really, really, yeah, really good. <laughs> I'm really like proud of us. Collaboration. Okay, so Eddie, well, Staley's not vegan. Neither is her. They've been dying to try these because they didn't try them before. I'm I tested eager, the recipe. And I can't wait until we finish. We're going to convert the shoot. them. Just kidding. <laughs> right? Cheers. Wait, people, both of you should eat one end, like <laughs> Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> But you've never had jackfruit. Not filling. It does. It does taste like meat a little bit. It the, the flavoring is crazy. That's so unique. And it's spicy. Look at the hot. Oh, I, your bracelet. I thought it was like avocado <laughs> sauce that like squished down your arm. Look, she's like begging for it. She's trying to take mine. <laughs> this is mine. We have so many more. Look at this room we're in. We're doing the voiceover testing. Testing. We wanted to make Billie Eilish something fun, including potatoes, avocados, and Mexican food because those are her favorites. I'll obviously make it sound better than that. <laughs> Yay, Bucky likes to smell smelly armpits, so we're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Okay, I got a recommendation to come to Nana's Kitchen. It's got soul food, all vegan. Okay, what the heck? These are called hood rolls. There's collard greens, I forget, mac and cheese, and baked beans in it or something? So. With like an egg roll wrapper. <laughs> Sweet potato, what is that? All right, we gotta yeah, taste this one. mac and cheese. Great, thank you. Mm. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good mac. We got fried mushrooms as the chicken and I don't know what the ribs are made of. Are you gonna hate it if I do it? Look, she's eating her fried mushroom. <laughs> okay, wait, what do you think so far? I like this. You like the ribs? I don't know what it is though. You had a big piece. I always debate whether I'm gonna post something negative or not. I really like the beans. The weirdest thing for me, for me to like on a plate. I can't have more, it's so sweet. Okay, so I didn't love that place. <laughs> it was not, it was not good. 
There was a couple good parts to the meal, but overall, it was too greasy and it needed some finessing. Sorry, I don't know, but it's voted number one vegan restaurant in Phoenix this year. So I guess you can fight me if you want. <laughs> Love is blind after the altar. I went to Farm and Craft to get um, something a little healthier and lighter. So I got this sesame cashew salad with soba noodles, yakisoba. Oh, yakisoba, which is not soba, whatever. Tofu sprouts, edamame, carrot, and kind of, I forget what the dressing is actually. But it looks delicious. We are back on the road again, heading back to LA. Had such a fun time with Staley and Eddie. Um, you know, we went out around to all the little hot spots of Arizona. And now I'm just gonna hit up two places on my way out. I'm going to the local donut and then Dark Hall Coffee. Obviously donuts, which I hadn't found yet here. And coffee and maybe some breakfast, we'll see. So let's go. Stevie's in the back somewhere. I didn't forget her. So they had three cake ones and two raised ones, but they have so many that aren't vegan. I had to try the maple. They're a little dense, but they're good. Okay, this place is bomb. This oat latte with vanilla homemade syrup the best coffee that I've had in like a very long time from a shop I got this palmier French pastry which we should try right now yes that is good oh my god it's so hot out and then look at this I don't actually know what's in the quiche what it's made out of the pastry is very good Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. That's like, I wonder if it's made with just egg or not. It could be, or it could be homemade. It's better than my quiche, I'll tell you that. I can't tell if it is just egg or not. It's really good. Okay, you gotta come here. All right, on the road, I'm kind of pissed because I dropped my latte all over the ground. Because of Stevie, she was pulling. So, no coffee for me. I had a little bit. I didn't want to go back in because there was a big lineup and I got to get back by six to pick up the boo-boo. So that was my trip to Arizona and I hope you come back or if you're here, you have some recommendations. The Dark Hall coffee was definitely the best, like most elevated stuff, technique wise, the pastry, all that stuff. Um, I can see why like maybe Arizona is like newer to the vegan scene. So some of the food is like, I don't like using this word, but mid, I don't know how else to say it. At least there are options. There's a lot of different options and I didn't even check out a fraction of the places because it was such a quick trip. So anyway, that's all for me. See ya.